I still remember the excitement I felt when my parents purchased Super Mario Bros. 3. It was the golden era of the Nintendo Entertainment System and Super Mario 3 was a must-have in the early 90s. Back then, it was common that games would come with a detailed, high-quality instructional booklet. It contained a description of all the moves in the game as well as the general operational and safety information. The game instructional booklet has all but completely disappeared from the modern gaming landscape. Why is this? Well, nowadays, just about all digital products, and specifically interactive ones like games, contain either built-in tutorials or instructional information embedded into the product itself. It is rare to see standalone instructional documents which come packaged with a digital product or service. At least where this kind of product is concerned, the instructional manual seems to be all but dead. For one, it detracts from the user experience when the end user has to consult a printed document to figure out something on a computer or mobile screen. The user has to jump between two very different modes of sourcing information. The other problem is that a digital product can progress through different versions over its lifetime, but a printed document remains the same. It's likely by the first update for this digital product, a printed manual would be obsolete. Developers get around this problem by integrating all their instructions into the product itself, but not as a discrete document, but rather placing the instructional information exactly where the user will need it. There are a few creative ways you can go about this when designing your prototype. The first is an initialization tutorial. This is a short instructional message that executes the first time a user runs their digital product. This could be a short demonstration video that introduces the basic features of the product, a user-controlled guided tour that gives a general overview, or a task-oriented tutorial that allows the user to set up and test out one of the features. The idea behind the initialization tutorial is to give the user just the necessary instructions to have a general familiarity with the product. Another method of embedding instructional information in the product is to use pop-ups which appear only when the user triggers a particular action. These pop-ups would contain brief instructions and sometimes have an option to redirect the user to more detailed information. This is very similar to floating dialog boxes, which give additional information about features whenever the user hovers their cursor over an item or clicks a hyperlink, for example called What's This? Finally, detailed instructional information could be housed in the product under a help center. Help centers could contain anything from video tutorials and interactive demonstrations to a glossary and troubleshooting information, and even real-time assistance. The goal of the help center is not to replicate a traditional product manual. It is not simply a PDF file, but rather to present the user with an easy to navigate and progressively updated list of help topics. A comprehensive instructional interface may incorporate all of these features depending on the complexity of the product. Whichever one or combination of these features you finally decide on is determined by the ease of navigation for the end user. The last thing you want is a situation where the user needs instructions to understand your instructions.